What's good family? Today we got another Jordan 1 on the channel. By the title and thumbnail, y'all already know that it is the Glow Greens. We're gonna go over everything that has to do with this pair. I'm gonna throw them on feed, let you know what I think the resale is gonna be for this pair. The resemblance I actually see from this sneaker to another shoe. All of that coming up in this video. If y'all doing up enjoying this one, make sure y'all leave a like on it down below. Get this to over 150 to 200 likes. That way I could keep this early sneaker content on the way for y'all i appreciate all the love and support y'all been giving the channel make sure y'all subscribe we're on road to 30k but let's get into these jordan one glow greens i got them in a size 10 color code is white black glow green let's get into this pair starting with the outside of the box y'all already see that every jordan one we've been getting as of recently one color box swoosh in whatever accent the sneaker is gonna come in love Love that detail I actually ended up hitting on this pair on the sneakers live where they were showing all the Jordans that were gonna drop so I ended up copping and low-key I could have got them for below retail I'm not gonna lie but at least I had them secured early it is what it is I actually ended up lacing these up with the black laces got that white on the tongue I don't know why they went white with the green I thought it'll be better with the black and that Tiffany glow green type color these actually grew grew on me a lot bro when i first looked at them i'm like damn these look kind of gimmicky i don't know how i feel about it. it has that glow green color on it but the more i really pay attention bro my bad i gotta open these real quick the more these low key look like the tiffany's let me know if i'm tripping in the comments or even the art basil icy blue icy green type pair that's actually going for thousands of dollars as we speak this is a clean colorway bro I just feel like they obliterated this toe color blocking at this point. For this one right here, it ended up working out for the best. Let me know in the chat how y'all feel about this pair. I think it's clean. At first, like I said before, I wasn't really 100% sold. Having them in hand, materials not being terrible, it's nice. Laced them up with the Tiffany glow green type laces. I think this is actually not that bad. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this pair. One of those that might get unnoticed, these might end up going on sale, probably will go on sale. If every other Jordan 1 has been doing it, this one will go for the low too. I ended up hitting for retail, like I said earlier, and right now resale market is probably like 120 to 150 on this pair right here. This became one of those pairs that I definitely am gonna hold for a little while. I love the color blocking. Y'all can see that material on the back. Definitely some butter. Quality and materials on this pair is actually not not that bad as i've been saying off of first impressions i wasn't really sold for this sneaker the more i had it in the studio the more i see it it became a pair that i actually gravitate towards i want to see what kind of fits i could wear with these i don't know if i should keep the black or the greenish laces let me know in the chat what y'all would do keeping it black leaves the shoe on a more simple kind of vibe and then if you throw these on there they know you're trying to get attention type shit but let me know in the chat how y'all will rock them. Is this a pair that y'all are going to be going for? Are you going to sleep? You're going to wait for these to go to the outlets. What's your predicament when it comes to this shoe? I recently dropped the first look for the military blues. These are dropping soon. So I know a lot of people might skip on these just to get the military blues. It's a fact though. The leather is definitely leathering on this pair. As per usual with these Jordan 1s low key, clean pair. What would I rate this out of 10? Maybe an 8.5 to be honest. Maybe even an I don't know. Gives me Tiffany kind of vibes. If this would have been one tone bluer, it would have been Tiffany. These would have went crazy. A Tiffany Jordan 1 would go hard. This is the closest we got to it. I think it's a different sneaker and I appreciate it for what it is. I could appreciate this one being in the collection. These are going to be dropping at a retail of $190 tomorrow morning. I don't think this is a pair y'all need to be at the mall doing the most to pick up. If you're really trying to get these, bro you might just fuck around and be able to hit on sneakers you could just walk into the mall and pick them up i don't think these are gonna sell out by any means and if they do that should be crazy depending on what happens tomorrow come back to the video and let me know let's break these down real quick starting with the outsole you got that glow green all over the outsole that nike swoosh on there going to the midsole they didn't go with the vintage sale outsole they kept it true white on this one and i'm not mad at it white 
white panel in the middle, same bread toe color blocking. We got another one right here with the glow green on the toe. I did switch the laces for this pair. This is the extra lace that comes with the shoe and that glow green color, the tongue, green Nike Air on the white tab. I wish they would have just made that black. That would have made more sense, would have been more flush with the tongue. Y'all know Nike, bruh. Glow green laces, materials on point. You got that same bread toe color blocking, glow green on the toe, heel and ankle portions of the sneaker. You got the black wings logo, true white in the middle, which I'm not mad at. Leather is definitely tumbling on this pair. That's all I wanna say. Great materials, at least on my pair. Resell is nothing crazy on them, bro. If y'all need these, you could literally just grab them. And that's the beauty of the times that we're in with sneakers right now. You could dead ass just go pick them up if you need them. If you don't need them, skip on them. These haven't even fully dropped and they're already damn near retail prices plus a little bit of lunch money. It's a lovely time, bro. Do y'all like the way these look on feet? I think they look pretty clean, bro. They might even look better on feet. Look at that toe perspective right there. It's not a bad one. Not a bad one. I'll take it low key. If y'all are enjoying this video so far, make sure y'all leave a like on it down below. Get this one to over 150 to 200 likes so I could keep dropping early heat for y'all. Also subscribe to the channel and if you do end up joining the family, comment that you're a new subscriber so I could welcome y'all the right way. These are clean, bro. Black around the collar. I don't really gotta over explain these colors because y'all know what it is, bro. Bread toe, throw the green type shit. Let's not overcomplicate shit. I love the fact they used the glow green right there, but it would have been 10 times better if that actually glowed in the dark. That would have made this whole shit plus 0.5 attributes. I'm not gonna lie. It would have been 8.59 out of 10. If that shit glowed in the dark, that would have been hard. On feet, pretty solid, pretty solid. I would say this is a cop, not for retail. Don't even do it. Maybe 120, 130, 140 maximum type shit. Last look at the glow green Jordan 1s. If you need them, you could get them. If you don't need them, don't get them low key. Boom. These hoes is dropping to the flow. Tomorrow, 190 retail. It's just another Jordan 1. Jordan brand low key needs to slow it down with the Jordan 1s. They've been tripping, bro. A pair a week type shit. We need to be seeing at least a pair a month or maybe every other month, bro. We got hella different pairs of Jordan 1s dropping, but this is the more recent one. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Comment down below. What's your favorite sneaker release yet to release this year? There's a lot of heat dropping, bro. Something like this might go under the radar for real, for real. That pretty much does it for this video. If y'all enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on it down below before you head out. Subscribe to the channel for more early sneaker content, more pickups, more heat always on the way, I promise. 30K is on the way too. I appreciate all the love and support y'all been giving me. Glow Greens were here and now they're out of here. Check out one of these two videos because that's what YouTube is recommending you to watch based on your previous history. They know you better than I know you. So just click one of those two videos that they're recommending and I'm going to catch y'all there. Peace.